So, hi, Kenan. Uh, Hello. My name is Laura Jimenez. I'm from Colombia. I'm a flutist. And I'm very excited that you're coming uh, to visit us to your former home. Well, thank you. I'm very happy to be here. This is no longer a former home. This is home. You know, when, <laughs> when you have a home, I think it stays with you forever. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, yeah, I don't think of it as a former home. I'm a clarinetist, right? I'm from Syria and I've been living in the States for, for 16 years now, more or less. And uh, I'm classically trained, but I always wanted to think of music as a continuum, you know? I don't think there's a real difference between when you play, I don't know, uh, jazz, or when you play classical music, when you play Arabic music, when you play Vallenato music, you know, I don't think there's any, any real differences. Lots of the mixing ideas actually started for me in this house. Actually, in this very room. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah the home, <laughs> this is where they still do music concerts, right? Yeah, the salon nights. The salon nights. Yeah. And salon nights have been a great place for me to experiment. You know, I tried lots of stuff out in this room. Uh, one of the oldest collaborators of mine all these collaborations of mine started here uh, with Dino Kujaratni, who's a pianist from Sri Lanka. Okay. And we used to fool around with Bartok, oh. taking Bartok <laughs> melodies and improvise along, <laughs> along them, you know? And uh, so, and you know, so when I bring this, the band, you know, back here to play, for me, it's like a complete circle, you know, you bring it back to where it all began. Do you have any advice for young musicians as myself here living at I House? Oh God. I need advice. <laughs> Some of the best part of teaching is that you get reminded how people play as if their lives depend on it. Sometimes the professional world you get you get to forget that. <laughs> you know, and, and when you're a student, I think all of us are students for life anyway. But uh, so if I have to summarize the advice, keep doing what you're doing, which means take all the risks you can take. You know, I don't think, don't play safe, never play safe. Like, know why you do this. Or right. to at least find, find answers, you know, look for answers. It doesn't mean that you'll have to find answers, but look for them. But also think always outside the box. Remember that you're playing an instrument, you, the, the instrument is not the goal. <coughs> what you want to say is the goal. And the instrument is only the tool for you to yeah. say that. So develop your, you know, vocabulary as much as you can and jump into uncomfortable situations to do that. And this is a great place to do that. So do you feel as an alumnus um, that it's important to stay involved with iHouse? And uh, why or why not? You know, it's, I think it's personal. You know, I don't want to be telling people what they should do and they should not do. I personally feel I would like to be, to be involved. Of course, I'm involved in a very minimal way, you know, I come to visit every now, you know, every now and then. But, uh, but I think the real contribution, if one has to think about this, is to carry the message of the house. Visiting the physical place is not, doesn't do much, you know, but, uh, but you have to be, you know, you have to carry a message, really. What does the house represent? How you, how you appreciate somebody else's culture and, and being and everything, you know, that's, I think, the real at the heart of what Thai House is. It's not only the walls, and I love the walls, and I, I live in the city, you know, so I, it's easy for me to come and visit. But your involvement really is about contributing mentally to what the, and also in action, to what the house represents. Okay, thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> thank you. Nice talking to you. Same. <laughs>